point slope form of a line. This tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash equation line, where you'll find a bunch of other goodies, including um, a free worksheet with answer key, a bunch of other practice problems with examples, an interactive line that you can drag around and explore the um, equation with. And, um, okay, so the tutorial will follow these basic steps. We're going to do a quick explanation of point slope form of a line. Look at common question types like how to find the point slope form equation from two given points or from a given point and a, a given slope. And then we're going to look at converting point slope form to y equals mx plus b form. And at the end, we'll summarize with some pros and cons of point slope form. All right, so point slope form looks like this y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And y1 and x1 are actual points on the line. And m means the same thing it means in, in our familiar slope intercept form. m is the slope. So here's what an equation might look like y minus 3 times 3 times x minus 5. From this equation, actually let's write 13 to distinguish it from the other three. From this equation, we know that the slope is 13 and that this line goes through the point 5, 3. Well, I mean, it's similar to what we would know with y equals mx plus b. If we knew that the equation of a line was y equals 13x plus 5, we would know that in this case the slope is 13 and then it goes through um, the point 0, 5, right? 5 is the uh, is the uh, y-intercept. It's the same idea here. We know the slope is 13, and we know it goes through the point 5, 3. The only difference in terms of what we know is that in slope-intercept form, the point we know is always the y-intercept. It's always where the line crosses the y-axis. For point-slope form, we know the slope like slope intercept and we know some point it's not necessarily the y intercept it's just some point on the line so let's do another problem or two if we had equation y minus um, 8 let's make that an 8 sorry y minus 8 equals 5 times x plus 2 we would know that the slope or m is 5 right that's a slope and then it goes through the point um, negative 2 all right, so one of the kind of problems that students often have to answer is this. What is the point-slope equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 3, 5? It's very easy with point-slope form. We literally just substitute 2 for m and the x and y coordinates for the x1 and y1. That's it. So it will be y minus 5 equals our slope, or 2 times x minus 3. That's it. Now, if you try to do this in slope-intercept form, you may remember those kind of problems. If you were trying to do it in y equals mx plus b form, it would be more complicated. You, would, you could substitute the 2 in for slope, but to get b, you would have to put in the x and the y and solve for b. So with point slope form, I want to point out this kind of problem is amazingly easy. You literally just substitute in, and we'll do it one more time. Let's find the point slope equation of a line that has a slope of negative 4 and goes through the point to negative 5. It really is just substitution. y minus negative 5 equals m or negative 4 times x minus 2. The only thing to do in this case is to simplify our sign there. y minus negative 5 is y plus 5 equals negative 4 times x minus 2. It's a very easy problem type with point slope form. And there is another kind of problem type I want to do with you. This one on the screen. The classic find the equation from two given points. Let's do this with point slope form. So what is the point slope equation of a line that passes through the points 1, 12 and 3 and negative 3, 5? Okay, so remember point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. 
and that x1 and y1 are the coordinates of a point, so we could use either this x and y or that x and y for our x1 and y1. However, we can't get around needing to know the slope. So when you have something like this, first off, find the slope. If you remember, slope is change in y over change in x, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can say 5 minus 12 over negative 3 minus 1. 5 minus 12 is negative 7. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So the final slope is 7 over 4. So now we can substitute that into our equation y minus y1 equals 7 over 4 x minus x1. So for x1 and y1 we can choose whichever point we want. We can, there's really two answers we could easily have. So let's first write it with this point. y minus 12 equals 7 fourths x minus 1. You're done. That's, that is a correct answer. You could have also though used this one. So I just want to point out, or you could have substituted in y minus negative 3 equals 7 fourths x oh sorry y minus 5 equals 7 fourths x minus negative 3 and one last step here because x minus negative 3 is x plus 3 so when you have to find the point slope form given two points First off, find the slope for m, substitute it in there, and then you can choose either point, and you will have your answer. This is the equation of a line, and that's the equation of a line. These are the same equation, they're just written differently. We could simplify this into that form, and we would have the exact same um, line. Alright, so let's try another one. What is the point slope? equation of a line that passes through the points negative 8, 7 and negative 3, negative 5. Remember, the first thing that you want to do is find the slope, or m. m would be change in y, or negative 5 minus 7, over change in x, negative 3 minus negative 8, or negative 12 over negative 3 plus 8, negative 12 over 5. And remember, you, got it, you have a choice now. You can use either point and substitute it in. I'm going to use this one because there's only one negative sign. Makes life a little bit easier. y minus 7 equals negative 12 over 5. x minus negative 8. And y minus 7 equals negative 12 over 5. x plus 8. Right, that's negative... Okay, so that's it. This is another problem type that is much easier than slope-intercept form. If you compare that to y equals mx plus b, the first part would be the same, right? You would have to solve for m so, and put that in there. And then to find b, you would have to substitute the, either point in and then solve for b. So uh, this is another problem type that is much quicker and involves fewer steps than y equals mx plus b form. You just find the slope and then choose either point and substitute it in for x1 and y1. <clears throat> Maybe you're starting to see why this is one of my favorite uh, ways that you can write the equation of a line. It really simplifies things. Alright, so I guess one other thing you should be able to do is you should be able to look at a graph and come up with the equation of a line, of the point slope form based on it. So, based from this graph, Let's come up with our point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And let's find the slope. So remember, you can choose any two points anywhere on this line to come up with the slope. Let's choose some ones that have nice coordinates. So the, this is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 0. And this is the point 1, 2, 3, 3, negative 2. Okay, so remember the slope is 
y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or 0 minus negative 2 0 minus negative 2 over 6 minus 3 that becomes 2 over 3 so this is a slope of uh, 2 over 3 the rise of a run let's substitute that in y minus y1 equals 2 over 3 x times x minus x1 and again we're at this point where we know the slope and we know two points and we can substitute either one in you can do this x and y 3 negative 2 or this x and y 6 0 so why not use 3 negative 2 doesn't matter either one works y minus negative 1 equals 2 thirds x minus 3 and the only thing to do is to remember that y minus negative 2 is really y plus 2 and that's it another another equation in point slope form let's do one more from the graph and then we'll uh, do two more things we'll look at how to convert it to point slope form and do a final summary okay let's come up with the point slope form based on this graph remember the equation is y minus y1 over equals m times x minus x1 the first step is to find the slope you can choose any two points. Let's choose some nice easy ones here. This is the point zero three, and this is the point one two three one. This is the point three one. Change in y over change in x, right? Is y minus three? Sorry, one minus three over three minus zero, which equals negative two over three, which makes negative two over three. Yep, that works. Substitute the slope in, right? Y. And then you can choose, as always, either point for x1 and y1. Why don't we use this as our x1, y1 in our line there? So it's y minus 3 equals negative 2 thirds x minus 0. All right? If you want, you can just write this as negative 2 thirds x. And that's it for finding the equation from a graph. It's pretty much the same as finding an equation given two points because the only difference is that we first actually just choose some any two points on the line. And from there, do what we did when we were finding the equation through two given points. First off, calculate the slope substitute it into the equation, and then choose either pair coordinates for the x1 and y1. <coughs> Alright, just one last thing. Sometimes students are asked to convert to slope-intercept form. And let's just do one or two like that. Let's say you have y minus 3 equals 5 times x minus 2, and we want to make it um, to slope-intercept form, or y plus 2 equals one half x minus seven. All right, so in slope intercept form, notice it's always, we want our answer to look like y equals something. So you have to add three to both sides of the equation. And you have y equals five times x minus two plus three. And then you need to distribute this, right? So y equals 5x minus 6 plus 3. And then the last step is to simplify that. All right, so if we want to convert to slope-intercept form, you just bring the y1 over and distribute here and simplify. So in this case, we're going to bring a negative, subtract 2 from both sides, and you have y equals one half x oh sorry that should be um, x minus seven there and when you distribute you get y equals one half x minus seven over two minus three and 
remember 7 over 2 is the same as 3.5 so you can think about this as y minus 3.5 minus 2 and the final answer is y minus 5.5 okay that's it for converting the slope intercept form just bring the y1 to the other side distribute the slope so it's always something you have to the slope has to be distributed and a final um, step is to simplify all right so let's just take a moment and kind of compare the advantages of slope intercept form and point slope form okay what is the same is you cannot get away from slope right slope is common to both so what is common to slope and that you know one point this is what is the same in the case of y equals mx plus b you happen this point happens to be the y-intercept in the case of point slope form it's just any old point x1 y1 how are they how do they um, around so that's that's also how they differ right here in the in the case of point slope form you just know some random point it's not necessarily the, the y inter <clears throat> what I hope you see from working with point slope form in this tutorial is that oftentimes it's much a much quicker way of getting the equation from information point slope is quicker and what by I mean quicker it's quick you more easily get the final equation when you know the slope in one point like the problems we did at the beginning when you know two points um, and you'll find out as you do other problems in math that the point slope form lends itself to uh, to working with parallel and perpendicular lines it's a really a great flexible form of the equation of a line and uh, really the only time that slope intercept um, is quicker than point slope is when you know the slope and the y-intercept. It's a little um, arguably quicker there, but of course you could use the y-intercept in the point-slope form. So that's it for a quick intro to point-slope form. If you want more practice, come to the website, try the practice problems, download the worksheet. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's end the tutorial with a really cool free online tool that will let you graph any equation in point-slope form. Just go to meta dash calculator.com click on graphing calculator and if you've seen my other tutorials you probably are familiar with this app very cool free tool get graphs anything and let's say you want to know how what the graph of this point slope form equation is All right y equals what sorry y minus 3 equals 2 times x plus 1 all you do is hit the graph button it's just a little out of the, the window the recording window and there is your the graph of your point slope form um, you can go back you can add up to seven equations <clears throat> point slope form standard form um, heck you can put them in you can put a line in any form you can just say something like 2y plus 5x equals 3y minus 0.2x plus 11 that's a line right it's not in any form it's just a bunch of x and y variable expressions and a, and a number which would end up being a line and as you can see we get three different lines on our graph there's a save graph button which I'll press now and then you can have an image of your graph too if you need it okay really cool tool metacalculator.com can help you double check your homework and do all sorts of neat things thanks